What's going on guys? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial. On this channel, I discuss personal finance tips and the latest and greatest in financial news. Now the like button and subscribe button were put there so that you could click them. At least I'm pretty sure that's why YouTube developers put those buttons there. Nah, they're probably just there for fun. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to give you guys yet another update on the child tax credit. Now, as you know, this benefit was recently passed as part of President Biden's American Rescue Plan. By the way, yes, this is brand new and it's awesome. So thank you for looking at it. Now, main key takeaway of this benefit is that it will be expanding the previous amounts to families. $3,000 for children ages 6 to 17 and $3,600 for children under 6. Six months worth of payments paid out as an advance to families starting in July and the other six months worth of payments provided along with your tax return next year, 2022. Now, if you want even more details about the child tax credit and you really want to dive deep into the nitty gritty, you can check out my first three videos where I break things down into a bulleted PowerPoint. And you simply can't get much more fancy than a PowerPoint, if you ask me. In this video, I wanted to focus on some of the ways you can use this child tax credit to its maximum potential. So let's say you have your child's meals covered. There's a roof over your head. You've got the rent covered. So you've pretty much got the bare essentials taken care of. So the question becomes, how else can you leverage this tax credit to get the largest, most significant possible benefit out of it? How do we get the most money out of it? Let me show you. So number one is take this opportunity to pay down any high interest debts hanging over your head, whether that be credit card debt, medical bills, student loans, Simply use any online debt payoff calculator to determine how much time you can shave off in paying down your debt with the additional $250 or $300 in monthly income coming in. Number two is build an emergency fund for your child. Keep up with the people that have been hunkering down and saving aggressively during this pandemic. Open an investing account with Robinhood and invest the monthly amounts into a collection of index funds, which average a return of 16% a year. Or if you're adverse to all risk, you can at least put the money into a high yield savings account at a rate of five to 6% each year. Regular savings accounts are okay too, but I think of them as simply a safe place to temporarily store my money before I can invest it. Savings rates for typical bank accounts are pretty much negligible. So it's a lot smarter to invest any leftover money you have laying around. Remember, make your money work for you. Don't let it sit there waiting to be spent. All right, number three is save for your child's college expenses. If you haven't started one already, a 529 college savings account is an excellent place to put that extra money. Now, unlike a typical 401k retirement account, contributions are not tax deductible. However, there are certain states that offer state income tax deductions, so you can check on that yourself. For example, in New York, couples filing jointly can deduct up to $10,000 of their 529 plan contributions. And that $10,000 of deducted income is potentially thousands of dollars back in your pocket at tax time. Just another way to leverage your money to its maximum potential. All right, guys, that was three ways to use your child tax credit to make even more money for you and your family. If you find these tips helpful and you want to support my channel, I do very much appreciate the smashing of the like and the subscribe button. Stay safe, stay hustling, and I will talk to you guys again soon.